ever been on an overseas trip, say, to Australia, and watched a sweet 4WD Mazda or Mitsubishi or Toyota Hilux pickup roll by, all muddled up and snorkeled, and thought, why the hell can't I get that little truck in the US, or maybe you dipped your toe into the mid-size pickup market, only to realize the frustration of being stuck with a Toyota Tacoma, Nissan Frontier, or the Chevy Colorado, GMC Canyon Twins. We can buy about 700 different crossovers in the US, but just three mid-sized trucks. What's up with that? And while we're at it, what happened to the tough little compact 4x4s and 2WD pickups of yesteryear? The chicken tax happened, that's what. A bizarre, 50-year-old tariff is why we're mostly stuck with absurdly big full-size trucks in the States. And the Trans-Pacific Partnership trade deal which the Trump administration just torpedoed, would have put an end to the chicken tax, finally opening the borders to a variety of pint-sized off-road trucks. It's kind of a weird story why, but here we go. Back in the early 1960s, Europeans became highly annoyed by the furious pace at which American poultry farmers churned out and exported chickens. Post-war Europe loved them some chicken but hard as they tried they just couldn't compete with big poultry here in the good old US of a there were accusations of impropriety on the international chicken market. Shit got serious. Eventually, France and West Germany slapped a tariff on American chicken. In 1963, President Lyndon B. Johnson retaliated by imposing a 25% tariff on imported light trucks brandy, potato starch, and dextrin. This became known as the chicken tax. Could just as easily have been called the dextrin tax, I suppose. But that's not nearly as catchy or absurd. The Toyota Hilux has a reputation as an essentially indestructible mid-size pickup truck. If you've seen those killing a Toyota Top Gear episodes, then you know what I'm talking about. Whether you're an off-road enthusiast or someone who's in need of a really solid commercial vehicle, the Hilux sounds more than just a little bit appealing. With that in mind, it's a real shame they stopped selling the Hilux in the United States. That's right. While the Hilux was sold in North America from the mid-70 seconds until the mid-90 seconds, it was replaced by the Toyota Tacoma in 1995 and hasn't been available in America since. But, according to some reports, the long unobtainable Toyota pickup may soon be coming back to US markets. Not too much information is available right now, but as Autowise points out, a Hilux model packing a third-generation Toyota turbo diesel engine may be sold in the USA as early as 2020. As far as horsepower and torque goes, initial reports claim that the engines will offer overall improvements in efficiency and power. Are we getting our hopes up? Not entirely, because you know how this whole initial reports thing can go. That said, it would be extremely cool to see the formidable Hilux for sale in US dealerships this time next year. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you click down below and subscribe to the button and hit the notification bell. And don't forget to leave me a comment. Want to see a YouTube outro in action? Head on over to my YouTube channel and thank you see you next time.